just absolutely uh, thrilled to eat with you guys. So today on the menu, you guys, um, I did a little something, something with some, um, I'm, I'm, blah, 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 blah. I actually had some of that um, jade steak in a bag with uh, broccoli. I uh, wasn't feeling that steak. That steak, well, actually, it wasn't even steak. It said beef. So it's beef. And I wasn't quite feeling the beef because the beef did not taste mm, like I thought it would. I thought it would taste more like steak and it tastes more like just, I don't know, like slimy, grimy beef in my mouth and I didn't like the way it tasted. I tried to do everything with it. I even tried to fry it and try to do something with it, put some more soy sauce on it, put some garlic in it, do something with it. And it just still tasted like a, it wasn't even a beefy flavor. I don't know. It was just like a, uh, I can't describe it. So anyway, I cooked my own steak. Kept their broccoli, cooked my steak. So yeah. Anyway, this is what we have today. You guys, you guys, check me out. I got my steak over here. You see, you see, you see. I got me some ribs. I got me some rice. And I got me some homemade biscuits. Not actually homemade. And I got me some broccoli. Can you see? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, y'all. So, I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat. And, um, like I said, I am so excited to have you guys here today. Thanks for tuning in to the Unique Total Show, you guys. Um, sit here. Mm. I fried a steak. Mm-hmm. That's so good. Mm. Look at it, y'all. <clears throat> I pretty much just threw it in the pan and fried and fried it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Despite the way I'm eating it, it's actually tender, y'all. I'm not lying. Mm. Mm. Steak is steak, baby. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the holidays and everything are over with. Everybody get back on the grind. You know, getting back doing what they you know been wanting to do or what have you. Um hadn't made too many uh Resolutions. I mean, you know, <clears throat> it is what it is when it comes to that. I'm just gonna be me, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this broccoli is spicy. Now, I did add some more seasoning to it because it came in a bag, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Not bad. <clears throat> I must say. Some ribs. Oh, baby. Yeah, look at that. Hmm. Hmm. Tender. Baby. Hmm. That's good. Oh yeah, so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Got these ribs from Save a Lot, but they taste like 
They came from a fine restaurant, y'all. I ain't lying. That's what you do with it to make it work, baby. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look what I made. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I cooked it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love ribs. I love steak. Mm -hmm. Rice is good. Biscuits. Mm. You know, if you can't make homemade biscuits like me, you already know the next best thing to that. Is the biscuits in the bag? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, um, Katie had a birthday December twenty seventh. My fat little baby turned four. And I think he went to Big Air Trampoline Park for his birthday. <clears throat> yeah, honey. He normally have his birthday parties. His mom and dad are renting a, rent a building and the finest, the finest of something, some kind of character coming out there. Last year they had so much fun that they was, uh, he was Spider-Man. Right, um, baby Spider-Man. <laughs> so cute. And then Ja and Taji also had costumes to dress up in. Um, along with him, it was adorable. And then, Ja, he turned six, um, January the 8th, and his dad took him to Um, I know it was in Atlanta. No, wait, Greenville. Greenville, South Carolina. They went to the Cheesecake Factory. And they went. Hmm, what was it they went to? Oh, Dave and Buster's. Yeah. And, um. He had a good time. <clears throat> Him and his little buddy. It's hard to get them all under the same roof sometimes for their birthdays and stuff because they mop their parents, you know, have other things going on with them. It's like, <clears throat> I couldn't even get them under my roof Christmas Santa. And Granny wanted to see both of her babies. Yes, she did. But I love them to pieces. And my nephew, he also turned six. No, wait. Yeah, he turned six October. It was October. Y'all, I talk about them like they're all my kids. And they both grandbabies and nephew, but they just so close in age. They do everything together most of the time, you know. So it's hard talking about one while talking about the other. <laughs> but they all love each other, though. Mm hmm. They have to go for us and go break to each other when they haven't seen each other in a while. Oh, hey, Grandma. Oh, hey, hey. Mm. Ja. Oh, Katie be saying. Katie, ja be saying. Katie. Taj be saying. Ja. <laughs> Katie. You know, they, they, they something serious. Them are boys. 
Mmm. This is y'all look at her. Mmm. They these are buttery. You know, they good with syrup too. Mm-hmm. Mm, honey. In the morning. Get you one of these biscuits right here, huh? Well, a slice of ham. I don't care if it's country ham or whatever kind of ham. Baby. Throw some syrup on that thing. Oh, what? Oh, honey. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, that is good eating. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, y'all, yeah. Mm, talk y'all about some stuff. I feel like I've been discriminated against. I'm drinking Sprite, y'all. Um, I meant to make a community post out about it, but before I could actually do it, I made my video, so. I just want to figure out, like, what is most important to you guys when you are employed somewhere? You know, like, I'm talking about the employment to support your family or what have you. Support yourself, your family, whatever, your household. What is the most important thing to you uh, about an employment? Like, is it the um, salary? Is it uh, the coming up in the business? Like, you know, like the, the the growing up, the growing in the business. Excuse me, the moving up in the business. Is it? Um, Um, communication, benefits, um, is it, I mean, what, what is it? What, what's the most important thing? Mm. To you, when you are employed somewhere, is it hours? Um, all right, what is it? I'm going to tell you, me, personally, I think I always used to put the same thing, and that was um, what is it, the moving up in the business, the growing of a business, you know, and um. <clears throat> um, salary and benefits they run the same because I feel like you know you want a decent salary. You don't have to be the best, like the what you know, the like the the best of the best. But when everybody get a job, pretty much they are just doing that. They're seeking to get a job, you know. So I wouldn't say it's the most important thing, but it will running the air benefits you know dental vision medicare all that stuff um like so what is like the the most important thing to you like because you can go and apply at a job and you can say What you usually say and assume, you know, whatever, whatever. But it's not until you actually start working at that place of employment that you expect a little more. I'm going to say it like, for instance, 
if you are an employer, employee, and you come to work, you know, on time, you're there on time, you do your job, you know, you might not do all the overtime they got the offer, but you work, you do every day, you working every day, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and you just, you know, getting your uh, 40 hour week check and you know, and you're bouncing, but you're making sure everything good or whatever. <clears throat> and you ain't got no problems with it up until you have a problem with it. Like, I tell you, <clears throat> all these great offers and things they have for the people of their employment in the hiring package. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you can go work out the gym. You can go and, um, we got programs for employees that need place of referrals and need help with other personal issues. We have, um, We have um, money that we could give out if you go do this and this and all just all kind of stuff. You name it. And you go, oh, that sounds nice. You know. And, um, and mind you, a lot of these places have pretty much said the same thing. When it comes to that, the packaging and all that stuff and all the stuff they can help you out with as an employee, give you access to and all this and that. I had, I've had i had high-paying jobs say that and I've had low-paying jobs say the same thing. And I'm just talking about them low-paying jobs. But how are you going to offer all that? But anyway, <laughs> nonetheless, I wasn't up for argument. I mean, you know, <laughs> that's what they offer. That's what they offer. So... Question being is, once you hear they offer all that, um, you come across a little situation, you know, situation, situation, I ain't gonna say it's like, um, you know, the worst thing, but it's not like a, a situation where, you know, you want to find yourself in and I'm just going to say it like this when that situation occur and the place of employment recognizes it it's like all the benefits are thrown out the window it's like all of, mind you, you know, some of the things you think they would be sen sensual about or, um, I would say more lenient towards as an employer, they're not. It's like, you offer all these programs and benefits and packages to your employer but you fail to offer the most important thing to them and that is leniency I'm going to say that to say this how are you going to offer all these programs mind you, everything that they could possibly come up with to offer in the employee package. But then as soon as the first chance, this employer, employee has not been in trouble, has not came to you repeatedly. And not to say that would be, you know, a difference, but because when you offer something, you're supposed to offer something. But this employer has not caused you any kind of, you know, cause the boss any kind of mental anguish of sort to um 
for him to refuse any type of leniency. The leniency was not brought up. It was not um, made a factor, you know? And so when a situation happened, you would think, First thing they would say, oh, you being the employee that you is, I haven't had a problem out of you since you've been working here. We'll see what we can do. And you know, that wasn't the case. <clears throat> Instead, they were like, okay, give me this, give me this, give me this, give me that. Have a nice day. Now, you said what? Oh, by the way, report to work tomorrow. What the? I'm about to do sign language now. Mm, 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 mm. What the? Crapping, crapping. Mm -hmm. mm. mm -mm -mm. mm. You talking about? And so it was like, okay, you know, <clears throat> coming from that place of, you know, kind of like. The sermon on the things you you just realize you go. Did he just say have a nice day? Oh, by the way, did he just say I'm not trying to be mean or rude, but um, I have to do this. Okay. After the fact that I told him, oh well, I'm an employee at your establishment, so how do you expect me to get back to do what I got to do? Well, we'll, we'll, it'll be accommodations for you to get back or whatever and do what you got to do. I hope you're not mad at me. This and that and the other. Okay, well, I'm not happy about it. I'll tell you that. I'm really not. <clears throat> but, I, I mean, as a employee of any work establishment, how do you guys feel about employees have, showing leniency to their employer, to their employees, employers showing leniency to their employees. Like, how do you guys feel? Like, is it a certain time frame? Is it an employee that has been okay? I'm giving you an example. Do you look at it different? And um, seniority, employee had been there for hmm, say about four years. Versus employee who had been there about mm, four months. And yet still, the employee four months hadn't missed a day. Always on, you know, always come to work. Hadn't called out. This and that and the other. Had had no problems. Hadn't did nothing. And was and was pretty much enjoying the job. Liked the job. Got along with everybody. You know. And it was a nice place of establishment to work. So, versus the employee who's been there four years. I mean, you know, I don't know what the stats could be about that. It could be somebody they don't hardly ever speak to, but they've been working on it long, or somebody who, <clears throat> who, uh, you know, I don't know, they used to, I mean, like, I mean, what is your input on that? I don't know, somebody who has been there working that long versus that long. And, um, you know, and they just don't show leniency to in the time of need, you know, they don't even bring the issue up. It's like a non, you know, um, it's like, um, I'm gonna put it like this. I don't think anything can be a lesser than anything. If you know for a fact, you need the employee's help. You need the employee to work for you. You need that employee there. And mind you, 
before anybody, you know, this job wasn't the best paying job, okay? And um, so it took a lot of strength just to get up and go to that. But, you know, when you're one of those people who look for a job at a particular time just because you need a job, and, um, you know, it's kind of like a rebound job. It's like, you know, you was at a good job, you was hired on it for a while, and then it's kind of like, okay, you know, that's done ended. So now I'm just let me find something real quick just to pay the bills with. That was kind of like what that job was. And I mean, you know, I'm not saying it was the best job, but I mean, you know, a job is a job. I'm about, I'm show up every day, every, you know, anyway, and, and do my job. I don't have to work a thousand years of overtime for it, but I will work, you know? So, um, I don't know. It's like, um, when, uh, employee, you know, just don't show you leniency and they just act like, you know, I just feel like it's almost a sense of, um, just, um, discrimination in a way, maybe not to the, to the finest, but it is almost a sense of discrimination to where you feel like, well, darn, I thought I was old more than that. Like, you know, or like, darn, you know, <clears throat> it's not nothing where, you know, you can help out an employee and they reimburse you when they get their check or, you know, some of those things or some of the jobs that I was used to working at, you know, employee would come through, an employer would come through. They care about their employees. They, excuse me, make sure that they're able to get there to work, you know, and it's not like, okay, well, we done done all this. Now you find your way and, you know, and all those types of things. It was just like nonsense. I felt like, okay, well, there's no need me even trying to even come back to this job because if he feel like this, if he is this insincere about the situation and he doesn't have a solution of any sort, you know, to to come through for his employee, employee, who had, employee who has been there and, you know, and work and this and that, what am I working for? Like, no, I don't want to grow in this business. No, I don't want to see, you know, where this business take me of any sort. If it's like this now, I don't want to have any parts of it, you know, deuces. I'm, you know, it's, I wasn't even stressing at that point. So I guess I just wanted you guys feedback on, you know, uh, how you felt about that, you know, how you feel about an employee not having leniency to an employee versus, uh, employee that's been there for months versus one that's been there for years. I honestly don't think the situation would have been any different if, you know, I had been there for years because the way this man, you know, felt like he had something to prove, I honestly don't feel like it would have been any different had I been an employee there for years and years and years. That's just my personal opinion, but I just want y'all input on it. Let me know, have you ever worked somewhere that, um, that was you felt like you was being discriminated against and they showed a little description you know um lack of this lack of um um leniency lack of uh you know support for their employees lack of anything you know just feel like you know it's just you just felt like you were just somebody there work i mean it's okay to feel like you just working because that's what you do but at the end of the day you know all employees are not they're gonna have situations where it's got they're gonna be they may run late or they may you know, uh, run into a little personal situation or just made something, you know, because work is work, but you know, you still have, you have got, you got life, you got, you got other things you got going on that you just, you know, and all the time work is just not your whole, you know, <laughs> your whole being, it's other things going on. So it's like when you bring that to the situation, you try to be as respectful as you can about it and try to, uh, you know, um, prioritize the situation, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and be, um, and show a mannerism that you want your job. But at the same time, I got, you know, other things going on too. That's just not my only priority. And, um, you know, it's just like you get people that just have this mentality of just, I don't know. I feel like it's just pure indecency you know, indecency. But anyway, you guys, I have enjoyed you guys. Thanks for coming, eating with me. Thanks for um <clears throat> talking uh with me about this and us sharing some quality times. Like I said, I hadn't sat down with y'all for a while and talked with y'all on my videos. Um but nonetheless it was it's always fun. I always enjoy y'all. I always 
like to bring up, you know, talk about things that's um, going on. So anyway, if you got something new to bring to the table, to the Unique Cuddles uh, channel, table, however you want to put it, bring it on. You know, let's share some topics. Matter of fact, drop some comments and let me know what y'all want to talk about. <clears throat> of course, y'all never do. I have a lot of these. But none of these. Anyway, nonetheless, I want you to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Share this video with whoever you want to share it with. Um, you know, let's stay, um, let's, you know, let's stay positive in the world. Let's listen enjoy each other's company and, and uh you know and and give each other feedback on how we can always better each other and the world all right you guys love you until next time